Shall we? Amen. We shall. <laughs> On your mark. Get set. Through a generous gift by the Massachusetts Bible Society, we have a state-of-the-art media studio and production facility. It occurred to me that we can continue to be pioneers, uh, taking the obscure, that which was on the edge of things, and bringing it into the center, uh, and continuing to be uh, folks who are on the edge of communicating the gospel. And so it was that this vision was born for this media center at Andover Newton. And what a happy day for us when um, the Massachusetts Bible Society uh, told us that they were prepared to share that vision with us, uh, that they had a vision of their own. We both knew that this was something that could further our goals as well as Andover Newton's. Since I work with students all the time uh, at Brandeis, I'm very aware of how important this step is because the print media is really in a, in a tough, tough spot. I notice even the students, the newspapers on campus, no one reads them. Practic or seemingly no one reads them. I, mean, I read them, of course. But everything is done electronically. And even uh, up to now, I've been doing email with students. Even that now seems to be fading to uh, text messaging and all the other forms. So I think this is a great step forward, trying to find ways to present uh, God's Word uh, in a way that uh, is in keeping with the 21st century. In 1996, we had a funeral service online for a woman that very few people had ever met, but lots of people had corresponded with, and she had a heart transplant operation that failed. And the people coming together made me realize just how powerful electronic communication comes. I would say in the last three years, I do a lot of, I'm currently doing a lot of education on tele, for myself on, tele, on uh, the internet right now. And what I found over the last three years, a lot more stuff is getting, uh, video clips getting embedded into web pages and things like that. Is this what you visioned when you approved this? Yes, it is. I'm Burton Bagby. I'm a fourth year Master of Divinity student at Andover Newton. I'm an American Baptist uh, working towards ordination in a wonderful church at the bottom of the hill, First Baptist Church Newton. And one of the most exciting things, I think, for students, practical aspects of the Massachusetts Bible Society's presence here on campus has been the new media center. And I've been working with the new director on editing uh, a class project and then seeing them film students so that people can have that to send to churches and also just have you're preaching to look at, and it's really a wonderful teaching tool, I think, for students to have that uh, to reflect upon and to see what you actually look and sound like. The media is uh, a means of communication. Uh, I'm in my 70s, and I'm still making the transition from print to electronics, though I probably spend more time on my computer than I do in books. Um, I find that the Reformation got started in the time of the printing press and we've become so wedded to that means that for the Reformed Church, in fact, all of current Christianity is, with the exception of the new evangelicals, are wed to book, not book as Bible, but book as printed page, uh, more than to the communication that it intends to achieve. We all want to make sure that the student body here at Andover Newton has a, an opportunity to give a warm welcome to the Massachusetts Bible Society to our campus. They're here in this wonderful 19th century structure on our campus, the oldest seminary in America, and as the oldest ecumenical organization in America, it's, that's a very exciting thing because Andover Newton is a very diverse ecumenical campus and the society's presence here on our campus is going to enrich that experience and we're thrilled about the different activities that students are going to be a part of and hopefully it'll be a symbiotic relationship between Andover Newton and the Massachusetts Bible Society. The Massachusetts Bible Society has had two centuries of effective and faithful ministry. We're so proud to begin our third century with this bold new step.